In this video, we're going to go over what it takes to create a PayPal button and add that to your website. First thing you'll need to do is head over to paypal.com. Now, if you don't already have an account, you'll need to sign up for one. You can do that using the button here. I already have one, so I'm going to click log in. And then I'll enter my login information, enter the email address and password, and then click log in. Once inside your account, we'll go up here, we'll click tools, followed by all tools. And we'll arrive at the PayPal tools and resources page. Let's scroll down and click the PayPal buttons panel. And next you'll be presented with a number of options. In this video, I'm going to cover the basic buy now button. So we'll go ahead and click that. Once the page loads, go ahead and fill it out accordingly. Filling, starting with an item name. I'm going to be selling a travel trailer. Uh, now, again, this is for example purposes, and we're going to be letting this go for the bargain basement price of $1.50 because uh, I'm going to go ahead and run through that sales process. Certainly don't want to run too high of a transaction. Next, if you'd like, you can add an item ID number. Uh, I'm not going to do so. This is a one-off payment or one-off sale. Uh, but if I had a number of different products and I had them uh, categorized or organized using product IDs, I would add that here. But I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. There's a number of different ways you can customize the button. Uh, if you had different options for the product with different prices, you could use that. Here's another one where you can do menu option names. Uh, I'm going to skip those. Uh, you can add a text field to the button. Uh, I'm not going to use that uh, because I'm going to use the text within the editor. And then you can further customize the button. Um, you can choose the PayPal button. You can use the small button, uh, standard button. You can add credit card logos or not. I'm going to add those because I like the way it looks and I want people to know they can use any card they choose. Choose the language for the button. And you can even change it to a pay now instead of a buy now. I'm going to leave that buy now. Uh, in addition to uh, these options, uh, if you want to forego this completely, you could always upload your own image. Click that button and then enter the URL for an Im image that you have uploaded, say, on your website. Uh, but I'm going to use the PayPal button because, again, uh, the whole intent of this video is to show you just how to add a PayPal button. Okay, go ahead and scroll down. Now, if you have shipping, uh, you can add that here. Uh, in this case, I will deliver this for another dollar, let's say. Uh, tax rate is 7% here in Florida. And I'm going to use my primary email address to process the account. Now, if I had a PayPal merchant ID number, I could use that. Uh, but I'm just going to use the standard uh, PayPal Connect using my email address. Go ahead and click on step two. Now you'll note this option here is checked by default, save button to PayPal, uh, because what that's going to do is it's going to save this button and all of my custom settings to my save buttons section. So if I want to go in and make small changes, I can. If I want to replicate this for other products I'm selling, I can. That way I don't have to run through all this every time and have to redo it. If I've got inventory to track or if I'm selling number of items, I can do so here. I can track profit and losses on a spreadsheet. Uh, none of that is really important for this example. Let's go ahead and scroll down to step number three. This step's going to allow us to customize the checkout pages. Uh, it's going to ask you a number of different questions. Do you want to let your customers change order quantities? Uh, in most cases, yes. But for this example, I do not. Can your customer add special instructions and a message to you? Absolutely. I want, especially with an item like this, I want them to be able to uh, provide any information they can. So I'm going to leave that yes. Do I need my customer's shipping address? Well, if I'm shipping an item, I would need that. In this case, I would need it because I'm going to provide delivery. Uh, but if you don't ship an item, say if you're selling a digital item, uh, then you would check no. Next up, you can choose to send somebody to a custom URL should they abandon or cancel the checkout process. Uh, say somebody decides halfway through, they don't want to buy it, they close out or they cancel it, they click the cancel button. Uh, that'll automatically redirect them to a page on your website as so long as you provide this URL for that page uh, to possibly recapture that sale or provide more information that would re-engage them and make them want to buy it again. I'm not going to add that myself. Similarly, this step, once a checkout is complete, you can take them to a 
payment confirmation page or a success page. Uh, that's a page that says, hey, thanks for the purchase. Someone will be in touch. Your camper's on its way. Uh, however you want to do that, whatever it is you're selling, uh, you can customize that product for the specific button. I'm not going to be using that either, so I'm going to uncheck that. Next up, the advanced variables tab. I'm not going to be using it myself, but if you had like tracking code where you wanted to append it to the button uh, so it would track a particular sale, you could use that here. Once you're happy with all the options, go ahead and click the create button and your button's been created. You can see the preview here and then the code that you're provided to add it to your website is here. Before I grab this code, we're going to need to log into our WebStarts account. Let's go ahead and go back over to webstarts.com. Click the login button, enter your email address, followed by password, and then click login. I'm going to be adding it to this website here. Edit my website. And then I've already got a page that I've prepared for this. Once the page loads, go ahead and click the travel trailer page. And this is it. You can see that it's got a lot of information about this travel trailer. Again, quite a bargain at $1.50. Let's jump back over to PayPal, grab the code for that button, back into the editor, and then click the insert tab, followed by HTML code. And you're gonna get the warning, of course, uh, this is an advanced feature. I do understand what I'm doing and I definitely wanna proceed, so we'll click yes. And then just paste the code into the window, the paste code window, followed by clicking OK. You can see that the button's been placed on the page. Click, drag it where you like, resize if you want, and then make sure to save the page. Once saved and you're happy with where that's at, click the View Site button, and you're all set. Now you can see if I click this, uh, I'm then taken to PayPal, where I would then log in, choose my payment method, and proceed to make the purchase. And that's all there is to creating a button in your PayPal account and adding it to your WebStarts site. As always, thank you for using WebStarts, and we'll see you next time.